I now call on the representative of Indonesia. Mr. President, the delegation of Indonesia is compelled to exercise our right of reply to respond to the statements made by Vanuatu and Solomon Islands, echoed by Tuvalu and St. Vincent and the Grenadines concerning Papua and West Papua. Mr. President, it is one time too many that hoax and false allegations are circulated by individuals that are economically motivated by separatist agenda of Papua and their supporters. Time and time again, the same fabricated and false accusations are thrown at us. These countries are sadly blindfolded. They fail to understand, or more precisely, refuse to understand. The provinces of Papua and West Papua have undergone massive development and progress. During the past three years, 4,325 kilometers roads were built, 30 new seaports, seven new airports, 2.8 million Papuans have free basic health care. 360,000 Papuan students have free education, with the economy growing at 9.21%. All make Papua and West Papua provinces the fastest growing regions in Indonesia. Mr. President, Papua and West Papua provinces are an integral and sovereign part of Indonesia. They will always remain an integral part of Indonesia. These countries were foolishly deceived by individuals, I repeat, by individuals with separatist agenda to exploit the issue of human rights. If human rights are at the heart of the issue, why? Why were these concerns were not raised in the appropriate forum, namely the third cycle of the Universal Periodic Review of Indonesia at the United Nations Human Rights Council? If Indonesia has anything to hide on human rights issue, in this day and age of open technology, by now, everybody will know if such accusations even exist. Mr. President, Indonesia fails to understand how countries continue to support activities of separatism in other countries. Or is this a way to hide from one's own domestic problems? Are these countries' human rights track record perfect? Obviously, their motivation in this August body is to dismember the territorial integrity of a sovereign and independent nation. Such actions are illegal, must not be condoned, and violate the fundamental principles enshrined in the United Nations Charter. We cannot let this happen. We cannot let this continue on. Indonesia categorically rejects all accusations made by these countries and the individuals with separatist agenda operating behind them. Mr. President, I would like to conclude by quoting an old proverb in Indonesia that says, menepuk air di dulang terpercik muka sendiri or loosely translated to, if you slap the water in a bucket, then be careful that the water will splash all over your own face. I thank you, Mr. President. I now call on the representative of